Welcome back. You may be thinking to yourself, boy, this is a pain. <laughs> In other words, all these steps that we have to take to get data from one side to the other. Uh, let me assure you that it's actually not that bad. It's difficult to set it up once. But once you have a view into the back end, in other words, into, let's say, the state table, you don't have to do this once. So any other place that will need Venn state, it's just a matter of implementing that method. So trust me, it's not it's not going to be as hard as you think it is. All right, so I, I have the first table that's going to give me the drop-down values for state. The, sec the second table I'm going to do is going to be just a sample address table. Um, you know what? The, w the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to have... I'm going to copy the address table from another another one of the schemas. I don't want to mess around with the the address table that's out there. I just want to use my own. So bear with me a second. If I go to tables and I say vend, uh, let's see, vend, I'm sorry, vol address. And what I'm going to do is is uh, act like I want to script that out and create that table again. This will this will extract the DDL. Here we are. So instead of vol TBL address, I'm going to call it sample address. And it's going to complain about the primary key name twice. So I'm going to call it sample address here. Cool. And there's that. So I have I have a new table out there called vol sample address. Now we'll I'll drop this after we get, you know, so it's not sitting in the vol schema. But here we are. So I'm going to say, uh, again, vol sp, sp address, uh, sample address select. And I'm going to come down here and expand this and bring in all my columns. Um, let's see. Select. Address ID, active flag, address line one, line two, line three, city, state, zip, zip four, zip four, serves me right for going fast from VLO dot or VOL excuse me TBL sample address I don't have to change any of the the uh, catches here I don't want to alter this so it's going to be a create and let's create it doesn't like that involved and it uh, doesn't like lines it's line create again Cool, it's there. So I've got a new table. Now I need a new, or I'm sorry, I got the table out there. I've got the store procedure. Again, we're going to go back out to the DAL and create another one. Let's do, let's close all this stuff so we don't get confused. Go into the EDMX. Update model from database. I should see two things out here. A new table and a new SP finish. Now I think that, that that same problem is hanging around with the um, with the using. So let me let me cut it off at the pass and fix that. Go to the context, not that context. This one. There we go. Let's copy these usings over. And as soon as I get five minutes to think about it, I'll figure out what the issue is with that. Oh, actually, that looks like it worked. Very cool. Okay, so um, forget it. <laughs> Should have looked. Oh, here we go. Okay, I bet you it just did it. Yeah, that failed. That's at EDMX. See, this all this data that's underneath the EDMX is generated by the by the framework. It does it for you automatically. There it is. Ugh, okay, I had it in my clipboard, so I'm gonna paste it. It will fix itself. Hey, 
excellent. DAEL's there. Well, the, I'm sorry, the uh, the EDMX is there. DAEL's not there. Sample addresses. That's the procedure. Let's move on to the context, which is under not there. It's under there. It was. I missed it. It's under the TT sample addresses. There's all my stuff. I'm going to copy it under the domain models. Create a new domain model. Believe me, I know this is repetitive stuff, but this is called the plumbing. <laughs> I called it address, or sample, excuse me, sample address select DM. Cool. That is done. That is done. Let's go over to the DAL now and create a DAL under VT. I'm going to call it uh, a new class. Code class SP uh, sample, excuse me, address DEL. I know this may be a bad best practice, but you know what? Once you solve it once, why, why would you want to do it again and again? Here's the list. The list method. This stuff you can't copy and paste, unfortunately. You have to do it. Sample, address DM. In case you didn't catch me or see how I did that, what I do is uh, when I see it halfway come up with the IntelliSense, hit space. It'll, it'll bring the rest up. List sample address. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that domain model is copied over to the list, to here, to here. Darn it. There you go. Now, the context it should be looking for is SP sample address select. No method or no uh, parameters. We can get rid of the columns. Again, space brings up the first one. They come up in alphabetical order, but just pick the ID first so it's just readable. Result dot EDDR ID, cool, comma, space. Now you can just do from there down. Active flag, address line one equals result dot EDDR address line one. And I'm going to call this two and three. It's probably easier to do it the other way, but have its city, state equals result dot state, zip equals result dot zip, zip four equals result dot zip four. Here's the cool thing about the way this works. I'm hitting space. If there's nothing else that pops up with IntelliSense, that domain model is satisfied. Very, very cool. So now I do control KD. So it lines up. DAL is done. Let's do the BLL. Right click BLL. Go to add class. Oop, you know what? Not there. I want to do it under VT. Excuse me. Add class under VT. I'm going to call it SP sample address BLL. Here we go again. Copy the using statements from the group class because that one works and let's copy the first method okay so instead of SP group dial again it's SP sample address doll space and that's a new sample address doll okay this again is SP sample address DM and there's list sample Address. I can't tell. Is that two? Yeah, it's a two S's. <sighs> All right. DAL dot. Nope. 
the list sample addresses, no parameters, call this a public class, and you are done the BAL. So now I have I have the BL, BLL, DAL, domain models, store procedures, tables required for an address table, and we're eventually going to have a lookup for the state. Excellent. In the next uh, in the next video, the third and final hopes of chapter chapter, I'm going to wire up a new form, and the new form is going to have a grid using the addresses and the state as a drop down within the address. Excellent. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.